There are several add-on features available for Bookmap. Please go to the bookmap.com website and under pricing, click on add-ons. You can find out more about each add-on feature here. I'll start with a one-click trading add-on. This add-on allows you to trade directly from the Bookmap chart and the order will take place within the platform for your real trading account. When you start Bookmap, make sure in the Run Options window that you select the Live Data Real Trading option along with your corresponding trading platform. You can find more about this under Members Getting Started tab. Just click on the platform link here. For this video, I'll demonstrate Bookmap add-on features in replay mode. To initiate one-click trading, click on the configuration icon located on the toolbar. Checkbox Enable One-Click Trading and you'll see the order information display pop up. Set your order size here. Click Save and Close. You're now ready to trade live from the bookmap chart. Please refer back to the toolbar configurations video to review the various order types and displays. Also note that the X button cancels working orders and the close position button closes all working orders as well as any live market positions you may be holding. This is a powerful add-on feature and will surely enhance your trade management performance. Let's go over the other add-on features. Click the Studies Configuration icon here. A window pops up that displays all the various available studies. The Iceberg Detector add-on feature displays hidden volume as a number in the current order book bars column. Bookmap generates this number based on the difference between the pending orders provided at that price level and the actual numbers of orders that transacted at that price level. For example, if the iceberg detector displays 150, this signifies that 150 more contracts were transacted than available in the order book at that specific time. This makes it possible to identify hidden liquidity at certain price levels used by more sophisticated traders, thus giving clues to the possible direction of short-term price action. Please note this add-on is only available in the column for current order book bars. There are no settings for this add-on except the ability to switch it on or off. Next is the intrinsic market price indicator. This calculates the execution price of a hypothetical buy and sell market order of a similar size and displays the intrinsic price based on the average of the buy and sell execution prices. Users can set the size of the hypothetical market order on which the execution price is calculated. Please note this indicator requires a license update so please allow us 24 hours before using this indicator. Let's go over the large lot tracker. Click on it here. Note the large lot tracker can only be displayed in the column for current order book bars as well. It won't show in the numeric column setting. The white line represents the largest single pending order at that price level if that order crosses a specific filtered threshold. In order for the large lot trade to be displayed, it must be at least 20% of the total order size at the relevant price level and at least 10% width of the largest pending orders column. This is the default setting. The large lot tracker can be very useful identifying the presence and possible agenda of key market players. The imbalance add-on indicator displays specific imbalances within the visible chart with two numbers, the current order book and the volume. They are displayed here in the upper right hand corner with numbers and corresponding graphics. Please refer to the bookmap user guide if you want to understand how these numbers are generated. Please note that both the book and the volume and balance indicators are calculated only for the current chart range. So if you zoom in or out, the outputs will change. There are two settings for the order book and balance. Note that if the setting value is not checkmarked, then the imbalance indicator will generate a calculation based on the entire visible book. To engage the setting, checkbox the limit number of levels to calculate. The order book and balance will now calculate the levels according to your input. An input of 15 means that the order book and balance will be calculated for 15 levels on the bid as well as on the ask. The weight levels exponentially decay rate settings 
allows users to control the order book and balance weighting and significance of levels closer to current price. Unchecked means there is no weighting. However, once checkmarked, the number inputted signifies the half-life weighting. For example, an input of 10 means that 10 levels on the bid and on the ask, the weighting will be half of that compared to the first level. Play around with both of these order book and balance settings to find what works best for you. For the volume and balance indicator, there are no settings because volume always trades on one level at a time, which is the best bid and ask. You can switch it on or off via the checkbox. All of these add-on features can be used synergistically in combination. Let's take a look at this current chart. As price dips into this large area of liquidity, notice the large lot tracker detecting several big lot traders on the bid. The iceberg detector flashes hundreds of orders that were not accounted for in the limit order book. Jump over to the imbalance indicator and you can also see a bullish bias with the current order book due to the large amount of liquidity provided on the bid. At this point, however, we haven't seen the aggressive market buy orders lift the offer. As we scroll forward, the picture changes. We see the imbalance indicator with a positive skew on both the book and aggressive volume, and price continues to climb upwards.